It's Fairy Night, we're back in my apartment. We're making a really delicious dish that I feel like everybody loves. Everybody loves this. And if you don't love it, what's wrong with you? Why don't you love this dish? We're making stuffed grape leaves today, but not just any stuffed grape leaf, we're doing Iranian stuffed grape leaves. Now, dolme in Iran, literally you can stuff anything. You could stuff eggplant, you could stuff tomatoes, it's all of those things. What makes this version different from maybe the kind you're used to, you know, like whenever you go to a Greek restaurant or, you know, you're having Turkish food or whatever, they have the little stuffed grape leaves. Those are usually vegetarian. These have ground beef in them. You could do ground lamb, you could do ground chicken. We're also gonna do some really beautiful basmati rice in there, as well as some yellow or green, we're using green split peas. So absolutely delicious. This recipe is something my dad taught me how to make a few years ago. I never actually thought about making stuffed grape leaves myself because you know, you can buy them, they're so readily available. And I also had no idea that it was something that they made in Iran. I genuinely was kind of flabbergasted. I was like, what, we have a version of those? Get out of town. But guess what? We do. But these are also steamed with a lemon juice mixed with sugar, um, which also distinguishes them from the stuffed grape leaves you're used to at restaurants. So this has a little bit more of a sweetness, a little bit more of like a acidity to it, which I really like. We're also gonna put some saffron in these because it wouldn't be Iranian food without saffron, let's be honest here. If you don't want to use saffron, you could use turmeric, it's, it's fine, because that's gonna add the color. You're not gonna get the same flavor with the turmeric as you would the saffron, but it's really good. Have you guys all been growing your scallions, your windowsill scallions? Grow your scallions, grow your windowsill scallions. I just threw off, I just cut off the thing that's gonna help me grow the scallions. So do as I say, not as I do essentially. But anyways, we're gonna just kind of roughly chop these scallions. We're gonna cook them down with the garlic and with the onion. And then we're gonna add our ground beef. We're also gonna use some dill because guess what? Dill's great, no big dill. I love dill. I definitely, I feel you haters out there because as a child, I did have a strong dislike for it. And now, as a mature adult, which is what I am, I appreciate it a lot more for its strong kind of aromatic taste and flavor. We're gonna do maybe about a half a cup or so. And again though, if you don't like dough, swap it out. You can put cilantro in here, you can do parsley in here. And if you don't like any of those herbs, then don't do it, but you're missing out. God, the one thing that I do hate about dill is like, I mean, it literally gets all over your fingers and it just kind of sticks and I'm probably gonna get some on my face and then I'm gonna have like be stuck with dill on my face and no one's here to tell me that I've got dill on my face and then I'm gonna watch a cut of this video and there's gonna be like a big piece of dill on my face the whole time. I'll be like, why didn't anyone tell me? And I'll be like, well, cause you were here by yourself Faraday and nobody told you that there was dill on your face. So anyways, no big deal. Still love it. Next up, we're going to use basmati rice. So I'm gonna give it a little rinse just until the water runs clear. And the reason why we're rinsing, it's gonna make the rice a little bit fluffier because we don't want it to be sticky rice. We want it to be nice fluffy basmati. And we'll move everything back and we can start making our filling over at the stove, okay? Oh, don't forget the old dime bag of saffron. Got my saffron dealer here in Brooklyn. So I will grab my phone. Oh, we'll do this again. Recording? So great. Look, look at my whole setup. Watch this. We're going to add some oil in here. Look at that. Hold on, I think this stopped recording. I stopped recording for a moment, but we're back. We've got some oil right on in here. We're going to add our onions on in. Scallions. Look at all that nice garlic. Mm. We're gonna give that a little stir. We're gonna add a little bit of salt to that just to help soften it. Yeah, yeah. I got some on the floor. There we go. <laughs> it's getting all over the floor. It's fine, I just wanted to show you guys how I do that, all right? God, now I have to clean my floor. Ugh. Next up, we're going to add in our ground beef. Or go vegetarian, just add in like a little bit more rice and peas and stuff. Getting our meat nice and browned. Remember that time when I dropped my phone behind the stove? We're going to, oh here, look. Look at that. <gasps> no! <laughs> Woo, oh, what a thrill. What a child I was then. So young, naive. And now, now I'm just young. <laughs> now we're gonna add like a teaspoon and a half of salt and we're gonna add in our rice our green split peas, some ground cinnamon, 
Give it a stir. Oh, it smells so good. I feel like the smell of the cinnamon in savory cooking is such a classic Iranian thing. It smells like comfort to me. The smell of ground cinnamon and stuff, it's so good. We're just going to add in the saffron as well. I'm breaking up the saffron threads, okay? Because Vice is paying for it, I'm gonna add another little bit of saffron to it. Cause I have it. Thanks, Vice. And in goes our dill. And then we're gonna add in about two cups of water. Give another little mix. We're gonna bring this to a boil. We're gonna cover it. And basically it's gonna steam until the rice and the split peas have absorbed the water. And they're gonna be nice and tender and fluffy. Got my universal cover, this little thing. It's like a fucking razor blade. So I'm gonna put that right on here. Turn it down. 45 minutes. Let's let that steam. We're gonna come back. Right now we're gonna deal with our grape leaves though, okay? It's very easy to just get jars of grape leaves at you know, a local Middle Eastern store ordering it online or something. If you were to use fresh grape leaves, you would want to steam them first. So if they come brined already like this, it's so much easier. Oh, fuck. And now I can't open the jar. I get it. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, ready? Just like that, Jingle Bell works every time. What? Oh, the crowd goes wild, yes! It comes with so many in here, they really know how to pack them. Tell you what. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna rinse these just because I wanna get that vinegary brine off. The brine is tasty, let's be honest, but I want the flavor of the lemon and the sugar and the grape leaves to come out. So they're rolled nice and tight. And we're just gonna unroll them. I'm gonna rinse them and also I'm gonna soak them a little bit in the water. And I wanna use like some of the bigger leaves. I'm just gonna trim off the stems off all these guys. And then I guess we'll show you how to roll them once my filling's done. <laughs> Remember the, the lozenges? We've had some fun while the cameras were cut. And that fun is over. Back to serious business now, okay? So, our filling is cooked. Look at this bad boy. Oh, mama. It's nice, fluffy. Oh my God, you can see the color of this is just beautiful with the saffron. If you need to season it a little more, now's your chance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can eat the filling just like this. Like the filling is so good. I'm gonna put a little bit more salt. Now you can let this cool. I mean, I should let this cool slightly to be quite honest, but. Time is of the essence here. But you could make this the day before, let it cool and roll everything out the next day. What we're gonna do is line some grape leaves in the bottom of a nice little pot you got at home, okay? That's so that the stuffed grape leaves don't burn. We're gonna take our grape leaf, see how there's like a shiny side and a not so shiny side? The shiny side is gonna be on the outside of your stuffed grape leaf. And then I'm going to take maybe like a tablespoon and a half of filling and kind of form it into a little log type thing like that. And see these little flaps? We're gonna pull those over. You're basically rolling like a little grape leaf burrito here, okay? We're gonna put the sides in like this. I mean, cause you know, it's like not the right shape. Like you're like, this isn't gonna work, but it's fine. Cause you're just gonna roll it in and tuck it. And then just roll it like that away from you. Just like this. And you have a nice cute little stuffed grape leaf. It's gonna go seam side down and we're gonna nestle them all into our pot. Easy. Remember when I was making this with my dad um, and my sister and I were both doing it for the first time? And my, my dad was like, wow, you guys are really good at rolling these things. And my sister was like, I have experience rolling joints. She's such a dork, but it's true. <laughs> also the difference between like Turkish style grape leaves and Iranian style is in Iran, they do them as more like little packets, but I like these. I like the shape of these, all right? So in Iran, we call them dolme, which it comes from the Turkish word dolmak, D-O-L-M-A-K, which means like to stuff or to fill. So everyone has, every country kind of has their own little version of these. Filling it up quite nicely. All right, last one, and then I'm gonna eat the rest of the filling. <laughs> They're all stuffed in there. How about them apples? I mean, grape leaves. We need about a half a cup, I think, of lemon juice. Ooh. Ugh, my tummy. Lemon juice. Jeez Louise. Oh, there we go, my eye. My eye. Oof. Bloody hell. Uh, there we go. 
And I'm gonna add in all my sugar. Let me give it a little whisk. Just dissolve the sugar. And so this is also a big distinguishing factor between like Iranian stuff grape leaves and other stuff grape leaves around the world is that we use a sweet acidulated solution that pours over it to cook it in, which I think is really good. I was very skeptical when my dad like showed me how to do this. I was like, why, why? I don't really know why, but it adds a, such a nice flavor and the sugar as well. It's honestly really good. We're gonna bring it to a simmer, cover it and cook it for another like 45 minutes. It's like lemonade. I'm like Beyonce. And now we dance, 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 Oh man, you can taste the saffron. I mean, I did add extra saffron. The dill is really nice. You get all that nice flavor from, you know, the fluffiness of the rice. The beef is delicious. The hint of the cinnamon, it doesn't like overpower it in any way, but it just kind of has like that nice, like it's that warming spice to it, which is really good. The brininess of the grape leaves is really nice. And then like that sugary, lemony lemonade, I guess. It's really good. This is awesome. It's just like a fun little bite. Mm. For the recipe, click the link below. And then if you're still here watching, this is your reward. Sicily, 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 bitches. Sicily fucking Lee. Sicily, Sicily, give me an S, S, give me an I, I, give me a C, C, give me an I, I, give me an L, L, give me a Y, Y. What's that spell? Sicily.